The first U.S. National Security Advisor, John Bolton, is set to depart Turkey without having met with President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The two were expected to discuss the fate of the Kurds allied with the United States in Syria as part of wider discussions about the U.S. troop withdrawal from the country. Now, earlier, Bolton said that Ankara must guarantee the safety of the Kurds before Washington pulled out. The Turkish president slammed Bolton over his comments and called them unacceptable. Regarding this matter, Bolton has made a serious mistake. And whoever thinks like this has also made a mistake. It is not possible for us to make compromises on this point. Those who are part of the terror corridor in Syria will receive the necessary lesson. There is no single difference between the PKK, YPG, PYD and Daesh. Now, during the course of the war in Syria, Kurdish forces, most importantly the YPG that we just heard Erdogan mention, they managed to gain control over a large area bordering with Turkey. They have successfully fought back the so-called Islamic State with support from the United States, but Ankara does not accept them as representatives of the Kurdish people and regards them as a terror organization because of their ties to Turkey's outlawed Kurdistan Workers' Party, the PKK. Let's get more on this story. DW's Dorian Jones has the latest from Istanbul. So, Dorian, how are we to interpret these statements? Is this a deliberate snub of a senior Trump aide by the Turkish president? Well, President Erdogan's refusal to meet with Bolton, he insisted, wasn't a deliberate snub. He said that the uh, Bolton had met with Turkey's uh, defense minister and his uh, spokesman, and that would be entirely sufficient. But given what Erdogan has said to his uh, parliamentary deputies today, uh, very strong language attacking Bolton, everyone here uh, sees this as a direct snub to Bolton. And according to Turkish media reports, Bolton is cutting short his visit to Ankara, further evidence that this is being seen as a major setback in U.S.-Turkish relations. And, and President Erdogan also apparently insisting that he actually has an agreement with President Trump to take action against Kurdish forces. I just want to have a listen um, to what he said on that front and then get your reaction, Dorian. In compliance with the agreement we reached with Mr. President, we have largely completed our preparations for a military offensive against elements of Daesh who are still active in Syria. At the same time, we are determined to take steps against terrorist organizations such as PYD and YPG along with Daesh. We will mobilize to neutralize these terrorist organizations in Syria lands very soon. So, some, some looming statements there. Dorian, what do you think very soon means in this context? Well, I think that's what everyone will be asking. Turkey is continuing to mass its forces all along the Syrian border, across from where the Syrian Kurdish militia are based, and also where U.S. forces are still uh, deployed. Now, now it seems that uh, the original feeling was that following uh, Trump's uh, uh, commitment to immediately withdraw U.S. soldiers, that had prevented an imminent operation. Now that withdrawal is in doubt, following Bolton's visit, it seems that uh, anything is now possible. Although it has to be said, we are getting reports within the Turkish military high command. There are big reservations about launching an operation in winter and it's when U.S. forces are still deployed, bringing the risk of a possible clash between the two NATO allies, something that both sides really would be keen to avoid. And that would also carry the risk of financial uh, implications. Turkish lira is very vulnerable. Any major rift or uh, new crisis with the U.S. could see a major depreciation in the currency as well. So these are major factors for Erdogan to weigh up in this decision to launch an imminent operation into Syria. Uh, how likely do you see the possibility that he will indeed launch that operation, risk a breach with President Trump, um, and really go against the Kurds in Syria? 
Well, I think that uh, President Erdogan is putting all of his uh, analysis and decisions on his relationship with Trump. This deal to uh, withdraw from the uh, Syria by U.S. forces was hatched following a conversation between President Erdogan and President Trump. Uh, Erdogan has underlined, he says, that he sees this as a deal with Trump and will be looking to Trump to, what he says, honor its side of the deal. And I think that the, the narrative we're getting from Ankara is the problem isn't with Trump. It's with his, uh, the ministers and uh, key ministers around Trump. That is where the problem lies. Erdogan still believes if he can talk with Trump, he can de-escalate and uh, end this uh, potential crisis. But if Trump does backtrack, Erdogan could well feel cornered and feel he would have to carry out this operation, especially as there are critical local elections in the next two, three months. Appearing weak to the United States doesn't play well with Turkish voters. Dorian Jones in Istanbul. Thank you, Dorian.